Yo, yo, what's up, Kinten? Mike was muted. Yes, I'm gonna start the stream now, so stick around. I'm gonna see what the new update's all about. Let's see. Um... All right, let's get into this game. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna use my cam today. Be like showing my face today. It's been a while since I showed my face. Right, let's go. Let's see. New update soon. New update soon. But we already have the update, so... Let's check out the map. New stuff. Weekly battles 1.9. Find the new battles featured in World 2. Turn, take turns on each of your character on each of your characters to deal as much damage to the boss as you can. Each difficulty defeated gives trophies which can be spent in the shop on the new user interface and other items. You can equip a different user interface to each character by clicking on paint palette in the top right of the shop. Then you further personalize your little dudes. Starter pack now includes 16 plus storage spaces. People who already bought the starter pack will have this applied immediately. So that's nice because we are lacking some uh, space on my bank at least. So 16 nice new spots is really awesome. And you can hold down now the XP balloons to use them fast. Okay, that's cool. I have a couple of those as well. Added particle effects to shovel in the gaming to indicate if there's ready to dig up nuggets. More particles, the more nuggets is ready to dig. This was a suggestion made by a player, which is awesome. New limited time shop items added to the game gem shop. So let's go and check them out. Sweet. Now we have the update. So let's go and check out what we have now. Let's start off by going to the gem shop. I want to see what the new gem shop items are. Limited items. Gives 25 trophies to spend in the weekly battles shop. The new user interface. Find the weekly battles in world 2 on the top right. You can buy it 8 times and it costs 650 gems per time. Okay, so we're going to have to save some gems for that. This is a new classic. Uh, this is just the beanie bag, right? Beanie hat. I don't think I have this one ever, so I'll probably buy it as well to get it on my slab. Uh, five star cardi fires. Okay, cool. These are also awesome, so I'll try to buy these as well. Large XP balloons. We have plenty of those. Cosmic candies. We don't really use candy, so I'm not gonna buy them. Random hyper opal. We can buy five new ones, so that's cool. And the uh, random cape equipment. Gives you the random cape equipment. Choose from the entire pool of capes in the game. There are currently 13 capes. Alright. This is always good to buy. Because sometimes if you get an extra pair of wings. That's going to be cool. And then the elite class 1 token. Which we don't really use. So The only thing interesting is the battle trophies. I think. To see what kind of upgrades we have for the, for the user interface. Yeah, the, the caves are random and you have 13 caves now, so the, the chances are really difficult to get actually the wings right now. Alright, cool. So, not really interesting. This is the only thing that I really like, the cardifiers, because you need a lot of those to get all your cards up. And I still don't have all my cards at level dementia, or was it? Cardified. Still have a lot of blue ones, so yeah. Amarok, yeah, that's gonna blow for if you get Amarok, you're wasting your gems. Alright, so to the update. Um let's check out the gaming tab. You see we have this shiny little thing right now, so this indicates that we actually can get some nuggets, but it doesn't say how many nuggets I can get. Probably if I click on it, yeah, it just clicks it, but I did it didn't really actually show the amount of nuggets you can get, so not sure if that's supposed how it's supposed to work, but I thought it, should, it could show you how many nuggets you could get. I think I read something about that. Right? Uh, let's see what did he say exactly. Uh, da -da -da. 
added particle effects to the shelves in game to indicate if it's ready to dig up nuggets. The more nuggets part, the more particles, the more nuggets it's ready to dig. This was a suggestion. Okay, so it, the more particles just shows you that you have more chances to get more more nuggets, but it doesn't actually tell you how many you can use. So uh, we have companion followers. You can select any of your companions to follow you whenever you go. You already have that free companion. Oh, I can claim one today if I'm not mistaken. Didn't do it yesterday. Yo, what's up, Brace? How are you doing, man? We have a new pack, level supported pack, 19 euros. I'm not gonna buy that. But I'm gonna go immediately to check out the new or my companion at least first. You wish you added filters for which pants you can collect. That would be that's a good suggestion actually. You can maybe you can do, check it out. Add it to the suggestion tab in the Discord. Alright, we can get one for free. So let's see what we get now. Um manage. We already have all these bonuses. We're still missing the king dude, the rift slug. The Dedoted Ram and the Crystal Custard. So let's see if we get lucky. I want to get the King Dude because that's actually going to boost me a lot, man. And what did we get? It doesn't. I haven't understand the mechanics of this yet. How you can actually see which one you got. But I think we didn't get anything special, right? And I've never understand this 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 thing here yet. Uh, I can't get out what happened. Oh, yeah. I think I got another one of these. So we didn't get one of the four that we wanted. So that's a bummer. Now we'll have to wait uh, for a few weeks, I guess. A one or one week exactly to get the other ones. All right, next. So the next update stuff was um the new battles and world 2 so i think i'm gonna hop onto that immediately we have enough damage to do so i'm curious what the levels are and what how, how the mechanics are because if it's something for end game that means it's gonna be difficult i think i read there were five levels to actually do it so we're gonna check it out all right the electric laszlo 200 hp motor oh you can i can, I can actually do it on every character right Motoroha, it looks like the boss is literally made of wood. Fortunately, your hatchet is on hand. The power of your next move is based on your chopping level 50. Okay, this is interesting. You can buff, you create you create a portal to the oof OE dimension so that whatever damage hits the boss next is doubled. Attack, you burn their skin, dealing 181 damage this is exact damage re-triggers each time an attack is chosen attack dual wield the next character's weapon you deal 459 damage but the next character can choose attack okay so hmm let's read the info because i don't really understand this each of your players takes a turn fighting defeating each boss difficulty gives trophies for the shop Bosses have three different uh, three di different themes, which determine the power of your actions. Every week brings a new boss, new themes, new action choices, and new items in the shop. Miscellaneous actions, which buff stats outside of the fight, last until the end of the week. This week ends in four days. All right. Okay, so it's different than I how I imagined this actually. I thought you would like actually fight bosses with your characters, but by the looks of it, this is the boss and I will fight with this character now. It's based on your chopping level. So if I go to my main character or not my main character, my Motoroha, which is my miner, he has level 50 wood cutting. So based on his level wood cutting, he will do damage so it wouldn't be a bad idea to level his wood cutting even more i guess to do more damage and if i choose any of this it will do damage so if i choose this one it's gonna do 181 damage the exact damage retriggers each time an attack is chosen so it's maybe better to level up my wood cutting now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check first 
how much we do now so that's 181 and what will be the difference if i just just upgrade one level because if it makes major difference then i'll try to work with that on uh in order to get more dps on the rest of the characters i'm just gonna grab a few time candies i mean we have a lot so that shouldn't be a problem we're gonna get wood cutting we need 4.9 million for the next level and wood cutting efficiency 218 million so let's go and try it out somewhere around here i think uh, wait a minute i think there's another wood cutting location here just gonna check how much i need to level up how much xp i get here if i start wood cutting here i don't think i'm gonna get much right 1082 million xp okay that's a lot so every time i chop i get, I get a lot of xp i think if i use one time candy i'm gonna get a lot three thirty-three thousand. so xp per hour 100 197 so if i use one time candy i think i'm gonna get like 10 levels maybe I cannot use time candy here of course in, in love i've totally forgot about that um but the way i'm getting xp here it's crazy man um, so I'm gonna go to world 4 because in world 4 I will be able to use time candy I don't I'm not gonna get as much XP I guess we're just gonna try it out see and otherwise we'll need to camp here for a, a couple of hours let's see where's the wood here in this part so with this one we get 37 million okay it's way less than the previous one but for the sake of the video I'm just gonna do it a few times 37 million gonna give us a few levels so we can't complain about that let's get him to approximately level 70 now we actually have a purpose to level up our skills on other characters so that's kind of cool right there we get some items in the process let's see level 17 and we're gonna check how much difference it is so we used to have 181 and now we have 215 wow so the difference is a lot um i'm gonna get a few more levels and then we're gonna try it see how uh, what we're supposed to do oh wrong location wrong location man if i would use the time candies in the lava place the, my levels would be really crazy now and if i actually want to do it faster i would just be able to use my 12 hour time candies but we're not gonna waste those so i think i'm gonna go maybe with level 80 i think that should be good for now otherwise i'll be wasting too many time candies and i'm not even using any of my skill efficiency xp build so and maybe if i do that i will get a little bit more let's choose a card set i'm gonna oh, it's already active okay okay five more levels and then we're gonna do the first battle and then we're gonna see what happens after that three more levels one k logs per time candy so that's nice <laughs> with me with my main weight wood cutter i would get a lot more so just pick them up but it's not like i need them one more time candy and then we're done oh no one more all right so we got level 80 let's go back to world 2 and then we're gonna do the first boss and then we're gonna see what what's next what's uh what can we do with the next one so we got some extra spaces so that's cool I am gonna drop everything in the bank. All the logs only because we have too many things here. I need to clean up my bank as well. I have too many doubles, triples. Oh, damn it, I didn't want to use that button. <laughs> Just by mistake. Alright, let's go and see what uh, we can do with the first boss fight. So we, I think I'm gonna use just the attack because the mo the boss only has 200 HP. So why waste another thing? 
so we use this button and it does 220 damage so the next one i wish it could enter in game but laptop is weak oh you don't have a phone right you could use your phone if you want all right the air feels electric as the there are spirits about maybe they could be of assistance the power of your next move is based on your worship level which is level 98 uh, i gather has the highest uh, worship power so we are already good with that and we can use three buffs we can use attack deal 430 damage for each previous attack cast if three or more rewind the character and reset number of cast we can buff boost all damage by 60 percent for each previous buff cast if three or more rewind the character and reset number of casts and you tell the other of a new technique so every attack in the future deals 48 percent damage 48 percent damage so buffing is also nice i mean it would be good maybe to buff now because i won't be able to hit hard enough with this one So I'm gonna buff it because 48% is a lot and then we'll see what happens with the next one. Select buff. Alright. Cool. I guess. Next one. And uh, your trip. And you trip and fall dealing zero damage. Laughing my ass out. Okay. But the boss HP gets set 30% from laughing so hard. Mm, that's not an interesting role. Uh you you cast a gross buff effective fog increasing all damage by 61 percent but the next character can choose buff mm, that's a good one because we want to attack right you, dro you drop your weapon drawing attention and allowing the next attack to do 96 more damage well now we want to we want to boost all the other upcoming attacks i'm gonna use the buff then we have uh i my three the air feels electric as thought there are spirits bound maybe they could be of assistance the power of your next move is based on your worship level he also has quite high 88 so we can use now attack you sense weakness and deal crushing blow of 660 damage if boss is under half of hp damage is dealt twice he's not yo what's up do it um we're not gonna buff we cannot buff because the previous buffs told us we cannot buff What's in the new bundle? Uh, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. I already showed it, but not really interesting stuff, to be honest. Um, you just started randomly grabbing weapons, dealing 1,804 damage, but the next attack, the next two characters can choose attack. Okay, I'm gonna use attack on this one just to hit him. We only need uh, 492, and he's gonna do 660, so I'm gonna hit him. Then we kill this one as well. The next one, I Mage, he also is based on his... Uh, worship power so we can attack you clamp a curse ring to their toe dealing 235 damage now and each time a buff is cast in the future it's not that much yeah this is new as well this is a new uh boss mini game thingy it's not actually fighting the game it's fighting the boss but it's like um turn based so you will need to just select uh, everything who's this dr lewds <laughs> All right, what's this? You notice a trophy on the ground and run to pick it up instead of attacking. One trophy. Hmm. Or we can use dual wielding. The next character weapon, your deal damage 1130, but the next character can't use attack. Um, yeah. I'm gonna grab the trophies, I guess, instead of dealing damage because I won't be able to attack with the next character. Oh no, you know what? I'm just gonna attack because I don't know. I think we still have one, two, three, four, five turns and we still have three bosses. So if we deal 1130 1, damage, it's gonna kill this one. Then we're gonna have three. So I'm gonna just hit him. We have three now, and the next one is 3113. Okay, so we have now I mine is based on his worship level, which is 90. You remain. I've been trying to get lucky the luck lead trophy and having pro prophetized world too man i have been getting those trophies so much i throw them away i think every every week i throw a couple away because i get them so much 
all right so we want to try to get more damage for this guy so we will need to do something your remnants on all times miscellaneous was cast if two or more rewind back to the first character and the only this only works once um i only use misc i didn't use any misc yet so i cannot use this it's gonna be worthless if i use it boost all damage by 60 percent for each previous buff cast if three or more rewind a character and reset number of casts i have used two buffs only so we cannot use this either you align the energy in the air so that the next buff is two times more powerful except for this one no four for you all right so i'll use this one i guess for this time so we used another buff all right one more miscellaneous you tell a really freaking funny joke to your final character who gets to select an extra turn hmm my last character is the weakest so i'm not sure if that's a good idea attack you burn there's king dealing 343 damage this exact damage re-triggers each time an attack is chosen that's not really interesting either you drop your weapon drawing attention and allowing the next attack to deal 174 damage i'm gonna use this one because i only have three turns left so we want to get more damage otherwise getting 3000 damage is gonna be difficult right so next one is i hunt and the power of your next move is based on your chopping level oh this guy's chopping level is really weak it's 14 um punch them in to the yesterday dealing 304 damage if nine plus attack yes it to re rewind the first character oh we have one to actually you need to take notes on what kind of things you use because i totally forgot what i used on my previous runs Buff summon a black hole, boosting all damage by 5%. If 9 buffs cast that rewind to the first character, no, we didn't do that either. You can cast a gross buff, effective fog, increasing all damage by 9%. Okay, I think I'm going to use the damage, but I'm going to have to level up my wood cutting for this character. So, we are going to go to Ihan really quick. I'm going to put this guy in the, in the lab. And then we are gonna see if we do a little bit more damage because 300 damage is nothing. And let's go. Uh, oh, this guy's been standing doing nothing. Should have put him somewhere. Let's put him here as usual. And then we are gonna get I hunt. I hunt. So let's just get this guy some levels. We need to get him wood cutting levels so we're gonna grab some time candy first and i want to do this a little bit quicker so i'm just gonna spend the uh, thing the, the high level candies and uh, let's grab a few of these a few of these and uh, let's see these are the 24 hours these are 12 hours and these are 24 hours i'm gonna grab a few of 12 hours make sure i don't have the the bubble for the timing and we're gonna have to craft some hatchets so our base then chopping efficiency is 91 let's see i think if i go here i should be able to get some nice xp get a few level levels doing this all right so how much xp do we get 25 million guys see how many levels i'm gonna get just by using 112 hour time candy 307 million that's gonna be a bunch of levels <laughs> whoa that's crazy we got level 70 with just one 12 hours on candy um let's do it one more time because the xp is nice and even if i if i use another hatchet it would be even better but that's good for now we didn't we're just here for the fast levels right Maybe I should do this also on all my characters. Wait, let's go get an angry frog. See if we can get this. Uh, one of these random stuff. I need to level up this one. A second. I think it was. Uh, this one, right? Okay. More chances to get the AFK. Uh, no, this is AFK. There was some trophy to get. I think it was to get more chances of dropping, right? Um, uh, 
no, the 0% AFK gain rate per random. No, that's nothing to do with the drop rate. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the frog and then I'm gonna continue. I've been so unlucky getting these uh, rare drops. It's uh, it's sad. That's the only reason I haven't been able to level up my slab. Come on, hit the frog. Just need to focus on this frog, man. Whoa, I'm kind of lagging in this world. It's like busy. It's not hitting. Okay, there we go. One damage, only one damage. Yeah. You got the special tool from the bosses. Yeah, I I think I've only gotten like one thing so far from one boss, but that's basically it. Thought it was supposed to do a little bit more damage. It's only hitting one. That's weak. So what did we get? Oh the oh the boss the 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 mini bosses drop now also trash. I got one of those upgrades, so they they drop trash also. So that's cool. Alright, so let's go and see if we can finish the fourth boss. Now we will do 894 damage, which is still not a lot. So I think I'll probably only be able to kill three of them this round. What can we buy in the shop with the trophies? We've got 20 trophies and gotta come by 1000 statues of the type shown to the left. 12 trophies, golden food shown to the left. Okay, these two are not really that interesting to be honest because statues I can get a lot really quick with the, with the candies. The screwed snack pick and the grumpy hatchet hammer axe. Okay, cool. So basically this mini game is handy to get the user interface stuff. That's going to be basically it. Select the, your main bar user interface. You can set one for each of your characters. You must change maps after selecting the new user interface. You could have the default user interface. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go for... I'm going to buff the next attack, I guess, or... I don't know what should I do. What should I do? I'm gonna just attack. Right, the last or no, almost the last one. You learn on the fast amount of experience accumulated to drive your decision. The power of your next move is based on your class level, which is 452. You are sense weakness and you a crushing blow of 746. If the boss is under half of his HP, damage is done dealt twice. I think he is not under 50%, right? It's a little bit above, so that's not gonna work. You steady your nurse and strike the boss directly, dealing 1066 damage. You create a portal to poof Ubi Dimension so that whatever damage hits the boss next is doubled. Mm. Mm, no, I think I'm gonna use this one, I guess. And then we'll see what the last one is. We have 697. You add extra chili cheese to everyone's hot dog outside of the fight, giving 6% damage to all characters. Boost all your damage by 16% for each previous buff. No. You just start randomly grabbing weapons, dealing 1907 damage. But at the next attack, two characters can choose that. Okay, so I don't have any characters left, so might as well just use this one and we'll be getting four kills this time i guess and the next one is seven thousand seven me two hp so there will be new bosses in four days so basically this is the whole update for the bosses you get to kill a few bosses here and that's it reset the raid back to the start all choices stay the same but trophies won't drop from boss difficulties you already beat 
And where do we see the trophies that we got? I mean, I got 27, I guess. No, we, we had 20 and now we got 7. And we can buy the cardboard user interface for 25. Mm. Reset the rate back to the start. All choices stay the same, but trophies won't drop from the bus because you already beat. Okay, so I can actually start all over. And we can try to get the fifth one. So let's try this out. See what happens. So basically you can choose the same thing now. Um, so let's try just using attack. See what the difference will be. So if we use this one now. Kill the first one and the damage dealt to the second one is also done. So that's nice. Do 430 damage for each previous attack. If okay, now we cannot use attack because the previous ones told us we cannot use attack. Uh, you tell all the characters on new techniques for every attack in the future deals 48% more damage. So we're gonna use this buff. Now we can attack more. You can use the trip and deal zero damage, but the boss HP gets set to 30% from leveling so hard, and that's not good. Um, we're gonna use this one this time and then from now on we're just gonna use attacks you just start randomly grabbing weapons dealing for the next to the two characters can't choose if we can't choose then what's gonna happen actually they're just gonna be skipped i guess um no uh we're gonna use this one 100 fish statues yeah but those are easy to get i mean if you have some time candies and you go catching you will get a lot of those as well they can't choose attack. The next one can't choose attack. Uh, which time above has a guess in the future? We go to some trophies. I'm gonna grab the trophies this time. We got one trophy. Okay. Did you watch the wars the Warzone competition? No, I actually didn't. Um, Warzone is uh, a first-person shooter, right? I'm, I'm not really much into other games, to be honest. I haven't been able, or haven't had time to actually watch other games. Um, okay, what else do you remember all the times in this cast? If there were more, we went back to the first character. We only used one miss, so we cannot use this right now. Oh, yeah, to get to 145, I think I don't remember if I actually already have the fishing for Onyx. I haven't done all the, the statues to Onyx, to be honest, but that's something I still need to do indeed. Um, let's try one more. One more attack, and then this one is based on the attack. It says weakness and the crushing blow of 700 damage is dealt twice. And your nervous damage directly dealing 166. Um, he's, this time he's under his HP, so now we will get more damage, so that's nice. Uh, you add extra chili cheese, no. The other two characters can't use attack. That was on a tricky one. So now we're gonna use a buff. There was a, there was a championship today going on. Okay. Well, I've actually been thinking I'm trying to do some first person, person shooter games. I mean, Eidolon is okay, but I don't spend that much time on Eidolon anymore. Actually, not gaming that much, to be honest, like I used to. I mean, the game was fun at the beginning, but now we have an update, so that's why I'm online again, making some stream, trying to make some uh, um, content and see what's what's new with the update. But uh, yeah, it's like it's it's okay up there. I mean, it's not really a big thing. You just uh, added some new stuff, some more gem shop items, some more packs for people to buy to make him some money. But other than that, I can do this today and then I'll have to wait one week again before I can actually do this new uh, content thing he brought today. So, yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm thinking of maybe doing something else, trying something else. I don't know. You got like 153 billion catch, catching and I only get 400 fish statues a day. Oh, yeah. I'm touching too much grass. <laughs> yeah, I need to think about it. I mean... I, normally I try to find games on my phone when I'm on the couch, you know, and I start playing a game and I'm like, oh, this game is fun. But after a few days, I'm like, meh, this game is boring. And I just removed it from my, from my phone, you know, so maybe I need to do something more on, on the computer. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> 
All right, let's see this one. Attack steady or nurse. Um, I don't think we're gonna be get so much damage. Yeah, extra chili boost all your damage. Three thousand. No, it's a. Uh... Oh, we are close, but not close enough. Well, it's a, it was a nice try. Maybe I need to think again of the strategy. And basically, you can only reset it one more time. And you can try next day also. Wait until tomorrow for another reset. Same time that you shop resets. That's the daily reset. Okay, so... Um, so tomorrow it's probably going to reset. You will be able to fight the monsters again. Yeah. But you will only get trophies if you get to the fifth one. That's what I understand from this update. So tomorrow we'll check it out again and we'll see. For now, I'm gonna buy the the card org board user interface, and then I'm gonna add it to this character, I guess. Um, currently, have the cardboard user interface selected. All right, so I think I read that you have to do something before it actually activates. Let's see. Take uh, you can equip you can equip different user interface to each character by clicking on the painting palette in the top right of the map, letting you further personalize your little dudes. So, yeah, see, so basically when you go to the next tab, it will put your user interface. So that's nice. You get a new background here. This matches with this character. This is the, the hunter. So it's nice. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it for this, uh, <laughs> for this part of the update, I guess. I'm going to put this guy back in the lab and then I'm going to go do my other stuff. gonna grab eye hunt again because or i arch he's the the most strongest character i have so far does the most damage and stuff so it ju just gonna go and check everything really quick i think i have some stamps that i can use for 90 percent 80 percent so one more day and then i can buy something else again with discounts i already bought all the bribes so we don't need any bribes anymore Collect everything reproduced. Bars. We have some bars. We're running low on bars. And I see that my... Oh, we need to buy more... Of this sludge. How do you call this sludge again? Toxic waste. Whatever. Um, deposit all. And I'm gonna go... I think it's in world 4, right? I'm gonna buy a few of those. Put them in the bank. And then it's gonna refill every time. Let's grab some money. And then let's go to the mo. Mm, Twenty-nine thousand. I think there was a trick to buy them all. I don't remember what it was. Guys, yeah, two hundred and ninety k. Buy them all and put them in the bank. No, actually, I need to put a few there. Otherwise, it's not gonna get them. Split some stacks. I haven't bought them in a while, that's why I can't buy it so much. Should have checked that earlier. Now I'm gonna be running low on these things. See, it automatically fills them. I need to make more void bars because my void bars are running low. My construction is not going up as it should be. So I am lacking a little bit on everything because I haven't played that much. Quick buy and then plus. Yeah, that was it. You should have told me earlier. Alright, let's go check world 2. What do we have in world 2? Um, we have some water. We can buy some points. Let's see my damage right now. If I use my buffs. is 6,391,000. Let's buy a few base damage. And the remaining water will be here. That's particle. So now we have 600, 6, 6,536,000. So that's an increase of 300k. That easy. 
So world two is done. Um, let me check my island. I can't. I can't check the islands with this guy. But I actually I'm gonna do it because uh, I've noticed that some of the missions in the islands require you to do certain stuff with the character. So I'm gonna do that so I can go with all characters there because I can't go with all characters yet. So let's get some levels, some fishing levels, really quick. Just gonna take a few seconds. That's the first one. That's not enough for the next one. Let's use a 12, 24 hour candy, make it faster. 33 levels, go. And then we're here, cool. Got some bottles. We gotta save these bottles. We need a lot of bottles to get the next island. We 106. We need 250. Um, this one is gonna. I think this is gonna be the next one because this is gonna be the AFK island. So I probably can do this because I I'm doing a lot of AFK. But this is gonna like take like if you get six bottles a day, that's gonna be three times nine like almost one now two, two months to get the next island so that's gonna take a long time let's check the trash we got some trash from this week and what else we need to buy um garbage 20 percent more garbage or new stamp and this is a new stamp i don't have this stamp yet hmm i'm not sure which stamp that is but i don't think i'm gonna need it yet i'm gonna just save it for now a rando island can i have a rando no we did the randos this week i think he should implement some sort of timer here to actually show us when the random will reset because we don't have that uh crystals i think we don't i don't have crystals now i actually do have some crystals so let's kill those crystals i like how he made these crystals they're like huge that makes them nice but other than that no challenge in it you can kill them as easy as by if you will increase the the hp for them like for a lot that will be cool see how my my crystals are spawning fast <laughs> nice and the last one is the shimmer island i did the shimmer island this week but i didn't do it really good because i only got one reward and i have to wait for tomorrow to reset it because i don't know what i did wrong but i had to increase my maximum hp and i got it with the wrong character we didn't have much hp so kind of messed that up but that's still learning money for next time and this guy you can just see how much damage you do right so that's cool 166 one 200 best dps oh here you can check your best dps ever in, a, in the amount of seconds i guess I've actually never done this before. You see, my best DPS is not even recorded yet. You see, two particles. So I should be able to get one nugget right now. Yeah, that's it. I still am so unlucky getting the bigger nuggets, man. I really want to get bigger nuggets. I'm just saving my post mail because I I don't want to waste my my tries. I want to get like around eighty percent or so before I give it the next try. So I'll be leveling this one up really soon, I guess. If it resets, it's gonna be level five, but that's a lot of levels, so I'm not risking that. Okay, we can get another nugget. All right, let's go to world three. Check our construction. Everything is building. This guy is ready. We're gonna put those there. Cogs. I haven't done much with the cogs either. Basically, all is XP cogs. That's all we're interested in. But we're not getting really big XP cogs either. So I'm just gonna trash them all. 
85 is good so we're gonna keep the 85 one the rest is uh junk 78 74 we don't need a 74 maybe i can replace this one the 70 or the 85 with something like 77 gonna replace it with the 77 77 with 76 and i think those are like my lowest levels besides the 43 but those are with bonuses so i'm not gonna touch those all right and let's see i'm missing a lot of mice i need to check my mice because my mice are are up rank and we can rank this one up so i'm gonna rank him again this one will be able to rank soon but we need oh we need a lot of bullfrogs um i'm gonna go grab a few bullfrogs really quick didn't notice it so i, I ran out of those these things in the bank otherwise it's gonna get poor really quick let's go to the bullfrogs bullfrogs uh, how much you get one million one million drops is gonna be like what 600 stacks so let's use 24 hour candy you get a few then we're done just get over it quick and easy quick and dirty and just a few million don't need that much i'm just gonna use those it's gonna be enough for now so we can start producing again all right what else did we need we ran out of something else we have enough for 11 days 60 million and we need these we ran out of these so i'm not gonna refine them because otherwise we will not be able to rank him i'm gonna keep that one like that this one we can rank up as well really fine this one we need much this is the one that's taking a lot of time yeah these two are my, the most difficult to be able to automate because Mice, I'm not having all mice. I have mice and I have these, but we have 382k of those, so we have a lot. But mice are getting consumed really quick, so. Okay, and then we will go to World 4. Get our spices. Just double spices. We have a lot of those, so. I'm just gonna wait for my eggs to get voided again before I can put them on. We're working on the sausage, the saucy sausage. Still need a few to level up, but I don't have any characters there, so it's just basically printing these for free. And then we are gonna try our sailing, see if we get anything from sailing today. That's a couple of hours worth of sailing and still i'm not lucky getting the the final or at least we, i still need like five two two four six seven i still need seven of the Elric ones but i'm not lucky with the last ones either it's taking ages i haven't ever even i haven't even gotten the the achievement for the 777 crazy some things are like so easy to get, but I, I'm still not able to get them. And the last thing we were working on was this one, the Bliss Tree Troll. Okay, let me check. What else was on the update? Um, we took turns on the characters to do all the damage, so that's done. But the new battle feature is done. Each difficulty gives trophies. Yeah, we did that as well. You can equip different user interface. Yeah, starter pack includes 16 storages. We already checked those. You can hold down the XP balloons to use them. Okay, that's uh, nothing really interested. And addict particles. That's basically it, guys. There's not really much in this update. Let me check on the Discord. Maybe I missed something. Fight weekly bosses and the new battles. Each difficulty of the boss. Every week there is four. There's a new boss on the user interface. 
he uh, he did something edited the quest help to be semi-transparent when minimized you can see dragon drag it further into the top corner so it takes less space than before try it right now the quest helper well, so this one i think oh he made it semi-transparent okay yeah so you see guys what he did basically the, the quest helper becomes like a little bit transparent and if you click it uh, he will actually give him color so you can like hide it here on the top And about balance changes, he added idol skilling key master to the final mini map. Idol skilling key master to the final mini map. Let's see. Idol skilling key master to the final mini map. What does he mean with that? I don't see anything. Or maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. This is the final mini map, so I'm not sure what he actually means with the key master. Hmm. All right, all right. Now, what else can we do, guys? Um, we got tasks, we got achievements, we have a lot of achievements done. Getting the Wazam, that was one that I need to do, but I haven't done it yet. These as well. Yeah, some things are like, I don't know. Just don't feel like doing them. Yo, what's up, Devil Pros, man? How are you doing? I'm wondering if there's anybody who's actually gotten this achievement yet. I mean, this takes like forever, guys. I mean, you get breathability, breathability V2. It's like impossible. I know how long we've been on it but all the right or, or, or i'm doing something wrong or i don't know but it's taking forever isn't it the final mining skill map oh the, did i read it wrong the final skill if this added idle skilling key master to the final mining map oh yeah you're right man <laughs> i read it wrong me and my sturdy english so what's the last map I can't even teleport there. How is that possible? Idle skilling. Oh, all right. Cool. So what does he do? If you have any other skilling codes, please say them out loud. Try them out. Okay. Oh, yeah. I understand. This is for when you're doing the idle skilling quest. Because this used to be on the main map, right? So now he replaced it here. Now I get it. Okay cool that's basically it um alchemy already alchemy and everything what we were doing was we wanted to finish the the blitz ring troll quest but we don't have much keys so we still need to farm keys. I actually need to put my characters on farming those keys. Otherwise, we're not going to be getting it anytime soon. And if I go with my character to world 4 and farm some of these. um, I think they drop here. I'm not, I don't remember. Let me check if they actually drop here as well. Um... No. The troll only the stilt guys drop the keys, right? So I will need to go. They drop one in every fifteen thousand. So if you go there and I get how many kills per hour? Six hundred and thirty one. Should be able to get a few keys per time candy, I guess. Let's see. No, I only get one. One key per time candy, so I think the best thing is just to stay here and farm with one of the characters to get more keys or i can do the what's it called again the coliseum the coliseum also drops a lot of those keys so i think i'm gonna do the coliseum as well to get a few keys to casey yeah because this quest is gonna take a long time we need a lot of keys i'm, I'm just gonna do a few i think i can do 10 and then we'll need to farm more keys I mean, 
This quest is also easy. Doing 2 billion damage like peanuts. There's no challenge in this game anymore. Or at least for me. And we got a few keys also from these guys. And I also got everything from him already. We got the capes, we got the troll keys. The obols, everything basically. Two, ter t two trillion damage. So I just need to make sure that I get like... 600 six we need to get 60 keys per time so we need to get 60,000 keys man that's a lot that's a lot it should be doable i mean if i farm with one of my my boobos it's uh, it's gonna work i don't think anybody has gotten the the trophy yet right or i'm not sure i haven't been on discord either to check that out Do you guys recommend any other games that you guys play? Or you're not really actively playing other games? You've got another oval. Two more and then it's done. We only need like 87 and then we can continue the quest i'm probably gonna put my boba there to get some keys that's it okay dokey um well let's see what can i do now guys i mean i should do something interesting for this stream today i'm gonna be here for a few more minutes um what i can do is maybe work on these character skills and get some levels try to get everything to around level 70 really quick we are gonna need time candy for those and i think i left my time candy on this guy here yeah buddy so i'm just gonna go on order of character and get everything to a few levels up and then do that with all the characters so i'm just not gonna waste a lot of time using skills and everything i'm just gonna use the time candies that i have because i have a lot of time candies and uh, yeah we're just gonna do that fast try to get everything to around level 70. So uh, let's start. I'm gonna put this guy first here. Let him do some farming first. And then, uh, gonna see how far we can get today, right? So, this character, what does he need to upgrade? Nothing. <laughs> he already has everything above level 50. So, cooking. We can upgrade cooking, I guess, but. I don't remember if we can use if time candies work for cooking. Let me check. I don't think so. No, time candy does not work for cooking, so I'll need to use balloons. Uh, we have balloons. We have balloons. Let's use. If, we actually also have pearls. These pearls also give some nice XP, right? Uh, or the gray pearl, gray pearls, I guess. Let's see, hold down to gain 20% XP in the skill as shown in the corner if the level is below 30. Mm, cooking is already above 30, so that's not gonna work. And this one, hold on to gain 40% XP skill that's shown in the corner. This one works low 50. Mm. No, I'm not gonna use that. Okay, so I'm gonna 
go to the next character i'm just gonna try to get everything at least to level 50 so i gather has been offline for a few days so we're gonna grab him also the xp that we can get from this guy what can we upgrade on this guy so we can upgrade the fishing the catching and the cooking so let's go do fishing and catching for now fishing and catching grab some time candies where where are my time candies didn't i put them here did i forget to did i forget them on the other character I think I forgot him on this character. Mm -hmm. uh, what did I do wrong? Where are my thousand time candies? Where are my thousand time candies? Um, just had them, guys. You just saw them. Where did I put them? Let me check really quick in idle efficiency. Don't want to hop on all the characters. Uh, inventory, uh, inventory, inventory, inventory. I gather it doesn't have them. I put them on eye arch. So I'm going to grab them from eye arch. That I, I put them in the bank. I don't know why they're on this guy. deposit back to farming and let's go so upgrading spree is beginning now fishing and catching right fishing and catching so i'm gonna grab these time candies these kind and we have a lot of those but i'm gonna use 12 hour can time candies so let's do first fishing do some fishing levels to level 50 then hop on to the next one. Forty six K XP. That's not much. Just gonna go for level fifty and then uh, gonna go to the next one. You let's use a twelve hour time candy. Didn't do much, right? Didn't get that much XP. I know why. Um, it's not efficient enough. I'm gonna go and make him a better fishing rod. Fishing rod, I think. One of those. No. why is it my quick my quick fishing thing is not working i think i have to craft them actually on the character that has already crafted them right oh man um no we're not gonna do that either we're just gonna go and waste some time candies can we fish here in this zone yes we can how much do we get here 168 okay this is better here we should be able to get a few levels Thirty-seven, and let's use one of those twelve-hour time candies. Level forty-three. Oh man, this is gonna take longer than expected. The XP is insane that it requires. What a waste of time candy, right? All right, cool. We have level fifty, and now we're gonna go grab fishing or catching. Level up catching. catching what's our catching on this guy it's only 22 we have 20 mission 20 million efficiency so i should be able to grab from the fairies i think how much we'll get we don't know but it should be enough to level up fast 17 we got 2 million per hour so we can use 12 for time candy and that's gonna give us a lot of levels i think it's gonna get us to 60 or so 53 yeah that's good enough it's good enough for now 
what else do we have on this character um yeah, we're gonna leave it like that then we're gonna hop to the next one if i got all my characters all the skills to level 50 today that's gonna work for me oh you see this guys this is a bug in user interface bug new user interface bug right next one this is gonna go back into the lab and we're gonna grab i arch i think i arch was already good with some levels right you also need some fishing and some wood cutting so we're gonna grab some fishing first or let's yeah let's go grab fishing first grab the time candy from the bank one of those one of those one of those and we're gonna go to the best map and we should be able to level up really really fast at 196k so we're gonna use one of these should get us to 41 44 maybe 43 47 48 50 i'm not gonna go higher than 50 because if i want to go higher than 50 i'll actually need to work on getting the the build better to not waste too many candies then we have wood cutting wood cutting is also gonna level up really fast 24 million per um, candy so if we use this this should get us to maybe 60 or so yep 70 <laughs> wow 70 that will cool that's good enough 70 what else do we need to upgrade the rest is all around good level so gonna leave those like that gonna put everything in the bank back and go grab the next one we got a hat a white party hat all right next character to level up some is i mine this is a fisher if i'm not mistaken i don't remember what i used to do with this little guy so he was a fisher in level 65 he needs catching and wood cutting so we're gonna go do catching and wood cutting which is also gonna go really fast as a previous one where are my time candies we are gonna use 12 hour time candies as well on four hour just gonna waste those today i don't really mind much to get oh but this guy gets oh this is fishing right so this guy gets a lot of fishing i'm just gonna use one time of these because we're gonna do catching and something else what we're we're supposed to do was wood cutting and, and catching so wood cutting and catching let's do wood cutting first get a few levels of wood cutting we get 30 million so one time candy should be enough for today get us to level 70 or so 71 correct and the next one is catching which also could be good to do with just one time candy three million one time candy should get us level 60 i guess 56 not bad i'm just gonna use one more all right so he has level 60 now he's also good enough there are a lot lacking on on uh, cooking your cooking is really low right put everything in the bank and go into the lab my friend see you until next time now we have imh this guy was my also wood cutter i think no this guy didn't actually do anything in his whole career <laughs> he 
he has to do everything <laughs> so we are gonna go and do everything on him i guess get our time candies as usual um i think i'm gonna use a little bit of everything with this guy because he needs to do basically everything from scratch let's go to do let's go catching because we're already here at the catching location good thing is that my base um xp for all these things are already pretty high so that's why i don't have to waste much uh on gear right now because they get a lot of xp just by using one time candy level 60 uh, like level 60 is good enough i don't need to go any higher for now then wood cutting wood cutting was also low right wood cutting was 26 let's use another one day time candy get a lot of xp could be also level 70 almost level 80 nice 80 and let's go do fishing fishing is low so i'll need to unlock the next portal before i can actually get some decent xp we need level 30 so i think one of these one more one more yep and then we're gonna pop a one day time candy here giving us 6 million hp hp sorry doing level 45 i want one more level i want him to level 50 at least oh level 50 is gonna cost a lot um i'm gonna leave it at 46 for now that's or because you need 2.6 million for the next level that's a lot i'm gonna leave it like that for now what else do we need everything oh oh uh, mining this guy has never done mining either so we're just gonna go to the mine mine some iron ore get some levels go to the next stage level 32 should unlock also at level 50 i think it was 40 so mine some of this get us level 40 And then I want to try to get them all to the next part of the world. So level 60, what this is what we need with this guy. That's going to be easy. 70, nice. All right, we got level 62 mining on this boy. What else? And cooking, but that's going to be another for another day. Nice, nice, nice. let's put all in the bank and this guy was in the temple right he was praying man i need so much x so much xp for the next sacrifice that's crazy i'm only getting like half a million per, per hour and we need we need for 37 mil 37.435 million that's crazy All right next character was i mine didn't we do him a few seconds ago i think we did right uh yeah he's done i mage we just did indeed and then we need i mine too this one was also one of my fishers main fisher guy or no he wasn't Okay, he needs to do fishing, woodcutting, and catching. So let's get him a few things. So many things in this guy that I don't use. But I don't want to throw them away. I just want to keep them as a memory. <laughs> right, where is this the time candies? Uh, let's use this one, this one, and this one. So first we are gonna grab um, wood cutting wood cutting 
Let's get this boy to 50 or so. We're getting 24 million, so one daily candy should be good. Level 70, come on, level 75. Nice. And if scaling this from the beginning was dead easy, everybody would be already this high. One more day, 51 million XP should be good for 60 or so. 53. Let's use one 12 hour. Right, 60, 58. And fishing. Let's go, go to fishing. Mm. One of these to get us to level 30 and then go to the next map and get around 50 or so if we're lucky 13 million xp 45 only 45 we only want to get at least 50. Mm, one more of these and then it's 50. 50 is good right mm. okay this guy is going back to the lab Next one is I lucky. I lucky has high skills, so I don't need to do anything on him. He has uh, basically the high skills of all: 109, 83, 55, 95. Sorry, 85 fishing. So he's good. He doesn't need to do any skilling. So we're gonna hop to the next one. I hunt. I hunt. He needs to do mining, fishing, and catching. Mining, fishing, and catching. Let's go mining first. Mining. Oh, I should have picked those gems. Damn, forgot about them. Lol. Actually, when Lava put those pictures on Discord about the, the new things that he made, I thought they were for World uh, 6. But apparently we were wrong because they were for this new boss uh, thingy that he created. Which kind of disappoints. I thought the world uh, six will be coming soon, really, really soon out, but not yet. Um, I don't need to go that high with this guy. Level 60, 70 is okay. Right, and what else? The next one, fishing. Let's go fishing. Yeah, I'm wondering is what kind of skills he's gonna bring out for world six because. I don't know if you guys played idle skilling. Um, but I think the possibilities can be something with um a, 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 how do you call that again? The medicine, you know, the creating the potions. But potions in this game, what I thought was basically gaming, because gaming is kinda like like that, you know. Gaming is based on plants, but in idle skilling plants are actually the plants that you grow to make the potion so it would be nice to see something like that in this game also that you can create those potions and based on those potions you will be growing exponentially really really high but we'll see and other than that i have no idea what kind of uh skills you would be able to bring for level for world six six i'm sure there are some guys out there that are in his test bet beta testing team but I'm quite interested to see what's gonna bring what he's gonna bring out what else does he have in idle skilling because mm, he has he has actually implemented a lot of a lot of the things in idle skilling in this game here like the how do you call this thing again the this map i forgot the rift the rift is also the rift was basically the last thing that he implemented in idle skilling but he implemented it in this game 
before you know so we'll see maybe he does something with the with the new bosses with the bosses that are in idle scaling or something with the ascension if you can ascend your characters that would be also cool but uh the game will have to come into an end soon i guess if he doesn't bring more content out right and then we are gonna put this guy in the lab again and we have i unknown this guy is also he hasn't done much in his life either so i think he has to level up everything It gets so laggy when you have so many nuts. And no luck yet with the nuggets, man. I don't understand. My nugget multiplier is high, so why is it taking so long? Alright, give me my farm candies and let's go. So this guy needs to get Mm, basically everything up so let's go with mining as well or okay let's do fishing we're already the fishing map so we're just gonna do the fishing those should be able to get me to almost 30 to unlock the next map all right and let's get here level 50 and that should be good for now One more. One more. Right, let's go do mining. Mining. For our time candy. Forget to keep to pick up those those gems. Stupid me. There's so many gems that I get because I level up so much. So every level that I get. It's like a random gem that I'm getting. 21 gems right here. Damn, I think I missed like 100 gems already. Just by leveling up. Not, not cool, not cool, not cool. See, so many kind, so many time candies. Level 63. Yeah, it's good enough. And then we have... True wood cutting. Let's go wood cutting. Man, we've got so many levels today. It's crazy how much we got. So many time candies as well. <laughs> See that? Oh man, I think we got like 20, 16 time candies from, or 16 gems from one. Time. Level 80 just with one daily candy. 24 hour time candy. Uh, where are we going? Wrong wrong location. Um, let me check something really quick. And the uh, we've been streaming for one and a half hour. Nice. Um, okay, we need to get some of these guys. Um, one time candy should get us level 60 or so, level 70. And some gems, of course. Got so many gems, we can buy something in a few minutes, I guess. Level 55. Okay, we're gonna leave it at level 62. That's good enough. Um, let's use the time candies that we got. The gems, where, is it? where are the gems? It's 15 gems here. What else do we need to level up in this guy? Everything is done, besides cooking. Right, uh, let's go to World War.
guys if you're enjoying the stream i would appreciate it if you guys can hit the like button just to make the video pop up a little bit more right and then we have our last character which is i super I super doesn't have anything man i super is he, he's still a beginner class because i haven't done anything with him just make the beginner class i was thinking of making a second journey man but at the end i didn't do anything with him it's just been standing there at level uh what is level right now it's not even that high 176 because if i actually wanna if I want to level him up faster, then I would need to choose some kind of build. So probably either Booba or something. So he can hit more often because with this damage, uh, he just throws punches, then he doesn't do much to level up fast. So we're just going to level up the skills for now. And someday I'll decide what I'll do with him. <laughs> Still have like the basic newbie armor from him because of his level he cannot wear anything i even have these pieces of armor ready to use but still need to get the bags on him he doesn't have all the slots open yet yeah so but uh, i'll take the, the time to do that someday <laughs> someday all right let's go and do start with mining with this guy mining it's like the easiest right it's mining get some gems drop from the levels go to the next one get some gems drop for levels get some gems drop from the levels mining is like the fastest skill you can level up see i only use two four time candies we got so much back for it um no this is a 12 hour this should get us to level 60 or so almost level 60. 66 yeah, that's good enough then we want to do wood cutting oh my goodness this guy um he doesn't even have access to the higher level stages so i'm gonna have to do time candies to open the doors open the doors he does enough damage to open a lot of doors fast so 223 per hour so that's good that's good jockeys and this is wood cutting so we're gonna do wood cutting really quick imagine if i had better hatchets level 21 how many levels can we get i think level 7, 7 70 almost i think yeah level 71 wood cutting cool and then we're gonna go to catching immediately Oh, level catching then we can get also level i think level 60 almost 58 that works um let's use one more I like sometimes i like round numbers all right and as we are here let's just open all the portals immediately so he can get to the end Oh, I need to hit one guy first. Then he can just go to the end, you know. Well, I actually also get XP from these guys, so you can get some them some levels as well. Level 194, that's cool. That is pretty fast. I think by doing this I can probably get level 200 or something fast. Guild Seekers. Maybe we got some eggs. 
one. Alright, what else did we gonna level up? Fishing. We still need to level up fishing on this guy. So let's go and do fishing as well. We need level 30, so we'll need like two more candies. Or more. Hmm. Right. And then the final one. Let's get him to 50. Forty eight. Forty nine. Fifty. Cool. All right. That's it. That's it. We don't need any levels left on this guy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the rift and I want to check how much, how many levels I actually have now. Because there is something here in the rift, right? I think it was this thingy, the stamp mastery. No, the stamp mastery is something else. That's not what I meant. It was the file mastery. We already have those. Redbox vacuum. Infinity star signs. This one, this is it. So based on your total family level skill mastery, you will get bonuses. So we have, we are missing the level 1000 bonus. So if you want to do level 1000, we will need to get all the characters to at least level. How many characters are there? Two, four, six, ten. So basically all the characters to level 100. So we still need to do a lot of fishing, a lot of uh, the rest. Basically fishing is running low and cooking. That's why, man, cooking is going to be difficult because you can only use balloons. And uh, it will boost 5% all damage. Printer output, cooking efficiency. It is, it is interesting to level this up, to be honest. but yeah construction mastery we need to level up some more things running low on some stuff okay no, this is a, it was a nice run man i'm happy with the results we got today leveling up all these statues and stuff or We need to clean our bank right now also we have so much junk in it right now let me see how much space do i have now left we still have it's full again see we got 60 new slots and it's full again but there are things that i i don't need then for example these time candies i always like to have a small stack there uh, what can we buy? Was there anything interesting that we can buy today? Um, trophies. Oh, gives 25 trophies. Ah, this was a trophy. So if I buy these trophies, I can buy something in World 2. Maybe I can buy another another one of the, the catacomb. Yeah, this is nice. It's a, like a fire thingy. But how many trophies do we get? gives 25 trophies so if i buy buy them twice it's gonna give me 50 trophies i can buy um this one so we got a fire one as well let's put i fire on super and yeah the remaining things you can use to buy gold or food and statues but that's not interesting to be honest not for me fire nice sweet yeah and um, what else can we buy um the cardifiers the cardifiers i'm gonna buy probably and this guy um i'm gonna buy this one for the slab i don't have the, this one on the slab yet the classic drop him here grab him there and oh where did it go where did it go i think oh here standing in front of it all right just gonna save this here for in the future um that's basically it the rest uh 
I'm gonna need to save some the codifiers. I'm gonna buy the codifiers also, so I'm gonna be saving some money for those. Save, save some gems for those. And other than that, we just need to get levels on this guy, level him up to the skill. I don't know. 703,000, 703 million. That's a lot for a beginner that doesn't do anything, to be honest. Nice. The damage one, where did it go? Which one was it again? Um, this one. And the damage card set we got on this guy, right? Right. Alright. Um, I guess that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. We did uh, a lot of stuff. Just need to level up our cooking. So we have balloons. We have a lot of balloons. Um, I'm gonna use some balloons just before I go off stream. See how many levels I can get with some of the balloons that we have, and how much XP do the big balloons give? We have a few big balloons as well. Let's see, cooking balloons, do they work? Yeah, we got 2038 XP. That's a lot for low levels, I guess, because it grows exponentially, right? So, how much do the medium balloons give? 14,000. And the big balloon gives you 27,000. Cool. So, if I use a few of these, I'll probably get, I'll try to get level 50, see if it works. Okay, going balloons <laughs> all the time saving those balloons has uh, paid off nice <laughs> sweet this is nice man so by using some balloons how many balloons have we used only 300 and then we can get to level 35 36 so every 100 balloons I get like 3 levels or so I think we have enough balloons to level up all our characters at, at least level 30 if I actually want to do that. Is that a good idea? Yes, because of the damage that we get. We get like 5% more damage by doing that. So before I go, I'm actually going to do that as well. And I'm going to put all the balloons here. So I can grab them really quick. I'm going to use those pens. I'm gonna do that before I go just so I can get a four five percent more damage and then you can see what the difference will be. I have noted let me check notepad. Um six five one two zero five. Just know the damage that I get. I wanna see the if the uh, damage increase actually goes. So I'm gonna put this guy here cooking and I'm just gonna grab all the characters and go get them to at least level 30. Cause that's dope. Oh, this one is already level 30, so no need to do it on this guy. Next. I gather. This guy has like level 5 or so. Yeah, level 5. Alright, so let's get him also to around level 30. We have 420 balloons. It seems like this guy gets more XP than the previous one. Every Whoa, this guy is getting a lot of XP here. How is that possible? Yeah, I have all pets already. I have been having, I have them quite quite long already, to be honest. I'm just saving now to get higher level pets. That's basically it. I have everything already. So yeah, 
We still get the lungs, of course. <laughs> yeah. So just trying to get a few more of those high level pets, but it's difficult. The big burgers, I want to be get bigger burgers. I've seen some people get like level 200k burgers, so that's nice. I also have all the shinies already. I already have all the shinies um, in the database. Where was the shiny database again? Yeah, here we go. All the shinies already, they're just leveling up. The pay to, win, pay to win pets? No, no, no. I don't have all the pay to win pets yet, man. I wish, I wish. I am not wasting money on uh, these guys, but I still need four of them. I need the King Dude, the Rift Slug, the Dedoted Ram, and the Crystal Custard. So, unfortunately, um, I'm, I don't want to buy and risk to get these. So, just hanging back maybe in the future. I don't know. I'm just, I'm uh, on this with this update when this thing got introduced, I thought, you know. I'm just gonna keep it slow. I'm not gonna put much money on this one because I think this is a uh, this can cost a lot if you want to get them. That's just gonna boost you a lot, but I didn't really feel like doing that to be honest. So no, I don't have those yet. I wish I did though. <laughs> but other than that, you can get a lot of good stuff just by playing free to play. You don't even have to buy everything, but. You can support them once in a while by something, but that's basically it. My account is insane. Thanks, man. But yeah, I've been playing a long time. <laughs> it's almost since the beginning, so... That uh, explains why I have a lot of stuff and all these kind of levels, you know? Okay, I think this guy also has level 20 or so. Level 9? Oh, this has level 9 only. I don't think those pets will help you much. Pretty sure you can clear level 9. <laughs> well, what I've noticed every time the new world comes out, I'm not the first one at the end. That's for sure. Because there are some guys that have a lot of damage. But uh, with the new updates that have been increased, uh, released, we can get a lot of damage done out there and level up pretty fast a lot of stuff i mean look at this i'm leveling cooking up now just by clicking on the balloons with the new update so uh, yeah there are he, he makes the game easier after the first world so he releases world five or for example now we are at world five right when he releases world five or uh, world six it's gonna take him a few weeks and then you will get to do everything in World 5 with balloons, with ca time candies, like he did with World 4. When World 4 came out, you were not able to use any time candy in space. So you had to do everything manually. Of course, he doesn't want people to push fast. But he wants the new people also to be able to get at the end faster, you know. Because, it <coughs> sorry, if people get to the end faster, they will be also motivated to help. Uh, Pay a little bit in game just to get some bonuses to grow faster so he will release stuff that make people come uh, to the end faster make things cheaper people will buy some gems buy some time candies buy the things from the gem shop that will help everything so you will be able to get to the next level faster. when world 6 releases i'm just gonna be at the end and a couple of weeks later i'll be able to do everything from time world 5 with time candies as well The, world, the new update has some treasure hunt. Tell me to go YouTube for clues. Oh, really? Treasure hunt. Hmm. Where did you read that, man? That sounds interesting because I didn't hear anything about it. But if there's a treasure hunt, I am definitely going to check it out. Did you see it somewhere on the Discord? Because then I'll have to go and check it out in a few seconds after I get all the characters to level 30 cooking. world 2 oh mm, oh oh okay 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 i'm gonna check it out for sure give me a second just want to make this clear uh image what was image doing again he was in the he was praying right he was in the temple the temple 
and then we have i mine too which was a cooker if i'm not mistaken he should have a little bit higher cooking yeah he's 43 so i'm gonna leave him at 43 uh, let's go i lucky should be also i think level 20 or so level 50 he's level 50 so he, no nothing to do on him either level 5 this guy needs some cooking to be done cooking 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 let's go even after that we're gonna have so many balloons left to level up something else right then i unknown also has low cooking if i'm not mistaken so we're just gonna grab the balloons immediately yeah back cooking yep and then the last one for now is i super didn't we do him already no we didn't do him either so i'm balloons for these guys and there i think there's no way to actually level up your hunting besides really actually hunting so you're not gonna be able to get those levels higher but they're already level 75 and breathing also you need to do a lot of egg so the rest is all uh, basic levels all right we still have like 2000 balloon 3000 balloons left man that's uh that's a lot of balloons all right let's go and check out to see if there's actually a new treasure hunt because if they are that will be nice that's gonna be challenging 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 let's see the treasure hunt guy was around here yo we he yo we he no man there's no new treasure hunt somebody lied to you man this is the treasure hunt guy probably they meant this thingy which we already checked at the beginning of the stream but this is not really a treasure hunt this is just the new mechanics for world boss fights weekly so it's pretty easy you can just you can do it twice a day this is new this is new you didn't see this this was released i think yesterday or today no the hidden guy this has been there for ages i mean this guy this is the new guy this is the, the boss that you can fight and to get trophies so you need to you get like uh, depending on the amount of characters that you have you can use certain skills that are here it will do certain damage on the on the monster or the boss whatever he calls it and you have five bosses you see you have five skulls here and every time you kill one you will get one skull one skull one skull we only managed to get four kills this uh, stream uh, but you can try it again tomorrow it resets every day after the first time and after the first week after five days you will be able to get a new new boss i guess and then you can buy these thingies yeah you've been playing for years you just found the treasure guy oh man well i recommend you um if you want to do it yourself and don't get spoilers then you can try but in my channel i have all the videos for the treasure hunts so you can just search on my channel treasure hunt and you'll see treasure hunt one two three i think there were three or four something like that and you can just uh use them make it pass for you let's say <laughs> um we want to upgrade we have enough points to upgrade something let's upgrade this thing sure man no problem um we can upgrade this a few times all base damage oh we have 2000 points i actually need to work on this one as well i mean i have so many pins that i can get a few levels from this 
just click it really quick like that because otherwise it's uh gonna get laggy let's see how many pens do i have i have 20 20 000 pens man 20 000 pens means like means like 20 000 these and every time you level up one you get like 0 0.1 base stat so you actually need to do that so we have we already did the uh, cooking so i think we should have some decent cooking now we should get five percent total damage now you don't have the new npc uh, then probably didn't update yet you, you need to check your uh if you're on, in the, on your phone check on your android store there's an update that got released today and if you're doing it on your steam then just go check steam you should have it definitely you should have it just you need you just need to update sometimes you can play the game without updating but if you update it it's gonna work so we should get five percent total damage let's see did it increase it did increase by ten thousand wasn't that much i think five percent of six million should be way more right six five yeah i don't know how it calculates it but it should have been gone way higher but oh well six and a half damage is uh, good enough for me it's uh, been great um let me check idle efficiency also shows me sometimes the things that i need to do Things that I might have forgotten. Um, yeah, gathering, worship still needs to be done. Yeah, what's the basic stuff? My super has two empty ovals. Mm. I can use some ovals on this guy. We have empty spots, but put, what can we put on him? Let's put... But he's in the lab, so there's nothing really interesting for him to use. I'll just put worship, I guess, or something. And the hexagon, we can put... Luck. Drop chance for this guy. yeah the, um how this is oh sorry oh it's um to be honest i'm not really sure the numbers because the numbers are kind of weird but if you check it again let's see i'm gonna go to the main character again the actual damage is six Six point five million million or something. I'm not sure how it's calculated to be honest, but it's a lot of damage. My highest damage is like what is my highest damage? Two hundred forty-six trillion. So I don't know, but these numbers are ex exponential. I'm not sure what this I mean, for, but I think it's million. So maybe it's six point five trillion. I don't know what the damages are right now to be honest, but. I do a lot of damage. Every hit is like a trillion or something. Then 13 till 71 trillion. 108 trillion. So too much damage to be honest. So yeah, they die really fast. They uh, can get 1 million kills per hour if I'm actively farming. And this is just my Berserker. So if I use my Bubu, it's also kind of the same. He also does a lot, a lot of damage. But my alchemy bubbles are really high on this character, so that's why I have so much damage. It's the bow jack is at 1k, and the base damage, which is the one I'm increasing every day, is 1,700. So these are basically the things that you need the most for damage. There are a few more. Um, this one also increases your total damage, but you will need to get a lot of uh, damage before you can actually do it. And then you can use your particles, but 
uh, you need a lot of particles so 6.41k particles to get one uh one level and then you'll need this water as well so it gets a lot of it gets expensive at the, at the end but once you pass the threshold of the diamonds or the 100 million then getting it with particles is quite easy and then we have this one is this was only 127 i haven't done this much because i want more power but it gets it takes a lot of um gaming bits and i don't get so many bits so maybe i can buy it with discount um let's see how much if we get like 90 percent discount maybe i can buy one no not even with 90 percent discount i can buy it so uh, the numbers are also crazy there's it's so high so i have no idea how much it costs to be honest but uh, other than that you can buy things with discount as well if you haven't pressed the the 100 million threshold yet i think i've passed the 1 million threshold with basically everything so there's no point in using it right now so basically i wasted those but it doesn't matter <laughs> and uh, always buy some gems if you're running low on gems buy those gems if you have enough water also these ones all right boys i am gonna call it a night it's uh 10 30 so i'm gonna go downstairs gonna chill and chill on netflix a little bit um it's a new update it's a new nice update but uh it's a short update i mean mm, you can do it in like what did we do one and a half hours basically in one hour we were done with the update and then we'll have to wait for a new update which will be probably in a few weeks i think he took like three weeks to make this so we'll see i'll probably make a short video on what we had in this uh, discord or in this uh, stream compile everything really short to see for the people who are interested so thanks again guys for being with me in the stream today if you haven't subbed yet sub that will appreciate it and give the video a like thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one Thanks. <laughs>